Hi, welcome to yet another video of Quantity Serving Studio. Hope you are doing well and having a great time in your career. So this is a video about an MEP checklist. If you have been following this channel, you would have already seen some MEP checklist videos, mainly for plumbing works, firefighting works and HVAC works. So this is a checklist for electrical works. Well, before starting this video, big apology for the background noise. Uh, this was something that I couldn't avoid during this time so sorry for that so hope whatever i'm telling is clear so let's start this video and also please don't forget to subscribe to quantity surveying studio if you are into the qs field if you are into the construction sector if you are someone who wants to move into the quantity surveying field so this would be really uh, be helpful for you so here is this checklist i've made some categories and put some items some works related to that category under each headings so this column b will be the description of the work and these are the different other columns for example c is a column wherein you can note down the unit of measurement so this checklist can be mainly used once you're done with your quantity takeoffs you can open this sheet and what you can do is you can fill up this entire sheet the first thing is you can fill up the unit of measurement used for the different types of work that can be in meters, square meters or numbers. Then according to the measurement done, you can fill these columns. For example, D is a column that can be filled if you have measured a particular item and you have included that in the BOQ or if, if you are preparing a cost plan in that. For example, you have done your takeoff of your cables and mostly it is in meters. So you can mention it is in meters. Then if you have done your quantity takeoffs, just you can highlight it with green so accordingly whatever items you have measured you can put that uh, you can highlight that in green now next column is for those items that has been assumed and included in the BOQ or cost plan so sometimes some items would not be given in the drawings there might be not much information about that particular item maybe in your initial stages of cost plan the schematic stage or the concept design stage so for those items, you know that that item is actually required, but then you have no idea about its details, your capacity or the how many quantity is required. So you would be putting it as an item or a lump sum item. So those you can put, for example, like there is switch gears required, but nothing is given that in your particular document that is received from the client. So those items you can highlight here. The next is some items which is not applicable and which has not been included there might be some system which is not actually required for that particular project so for those items you can highlight it in this column like for example there it might be a small small building so lightning protection items would not be required earth terminals is not required for small buildings so those you can highlight in this column and then finally there is a column for professional sum so it would be mentioned in your documents, the uh, tender documents or in your mm, cost plan, like reports that is given by the client that some items is there, but the design would be developed at a later stage once the construction process begins. So a professional sum needs to be put for those. So that things you can put under, you can highlight here, for example, panel boards, not much details are given. It would be developed in the construction stage so that items you can highlight here so once you have uh, like gone through this entire checklist there might be some items which will not be highlighted in any of these columns so then you can understand that okay there is something that you have missed out or something has been done wrong in your takeoff so this is something that you can yourself do once your quantity takeoff is done and this checklist, checklist is prepared you can yourself check that if you have missed out something that you can easily identify from this sheet that is the basic idea of making this checklist so similar kind of checklist i've already prepared for the other mep works like plumbing hvac and fire protection so hope this small video has been helpful if you require this sheet you can mention your email id uh, in any of my social media accounts in youtube comments uh, it is not accepting the email ids i believe so all my social media account links have been given in the description. You can just click through it and just send me a message, whether it be in LinkedIn, Facebook or Instagram. 
so i can share it with you i'll be happy to share this checklist with you so that it can be helpful in your career to make your works easier so thanks a lot for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to quantity surveying studio so take care bye